Hi, I'm Jose Anunciato, and you're watching the Web Dev Channel. All right, uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, project requirements. Okay. All right. So again, um, um, I encourage you to join uh, teams of up to three, uh, and. Um, and you're free to really build anything you want, uh, as long as it's within these boundaries. Okay, uh, so these are very generic um, uh, requirements, uh, and uh, I'm I'm open to negotiation. Uh, I believe uh, about you know 80 to 90 percent of you uh, will be fine with it within within these boundaries, uh, but certainly you know the 10 or 20 percent uh, that feel that you want to go a little bit outside and explore. Uh, you know, I'm willing to, to, to negotiate. Uh, if you if you see that uh, all the ideas that you come up with are fall within these boundaries, you know, just do it. You don't have to ask for permission or or my or our approval or anything. Okay. Uh, only if you feel that if you have or, or you know are wondering if uh, if your particular uh, project f uh, uh, um, falls within these requirements. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So some of the generic stuff. Um, there has to be a home page, a landing page, right? Uh, that um, uh, will have perhaps uh, it, it, uh, if it if it sees that it's, if it's the same person logged in because it checked a, a cookie and it's uh, you've already logged in before, it might display things that are pertaining to you uh, having logged in. If it, if we if we don't know who you are, uh, then it might display some generic stuff. Okay. Um, but it should be it should be uh, 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 tailored to somebody who's logged in or anonymous, right? And also, um, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it it can have a lot of eye candy, a lot of uh, 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 some marketing stuff, some lots of carousels, right? Uh, so very very pretty. Okay, uh, don't don't just you know don't just put a, a a search bar and that's it. Okay, if you're Google, you could you could get away with that, right? But you're not Google yet. Uh, so you know, so do some eye candy. So, you know, explain to me what what does it do? What what am I doing here? Okay. Uh, again, if you if you uh, if you're Bing or, or, or some somebody who uh, maybe just a, an input field is enough. Obviously, what else could you possibly do? Um, all right. Uh, also, the uh, the the uh, the project should not ask me to log in unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay. The the it should support an anonymous user. Uh, use cases, you know, some kind, some kind of use case for the anonymous user. I don't know who you are, uh, but you could still search, uh, search for movies. You can read articles. You can read um, reviews. Uh, you can search things. You can do all. Uh, you can peruse through here, right? But uh, only if you, if you, uh, only if I try to uh, do something that the application needs to know who I am or that needs to remember, uh, then it would ask me to um, to log in. Okay. All right, so it's uh, it's uh, so definitely a lot of uh, use cases for the anonymous user. Uh, also, once I log in, there should be some profile uh, page that um, that lists uh, not only my personal information, but uh, obviously allows me to change ch change some of the, my my personal information. Uh, but um, also uh, should list somehow list any data that is related to me. Right? Any uh, from there, I should be able to go back to anything that I've created. Right or some, somehow I'm related to. Uh, if I'm following somebody, uh, then it should be listed there. Right. If I liked an article, then it should be listed there. Right. If I posted something, then it should be listed there. Right. Or, or at least links to them. Right. So that if I click on them, it goes back to whatever I, I clicked on. Right. If somebody's following me, also should be listed there. So anything that that particular person is related to, right, uh, should be available from the profile. Right. Not necessarily maybe in the profile, but somewhere. Okay. Once I've logged in, um, uh, also uh, there might be uh, some some public version of your profile and some private version of the profile, right? Where you might share certain things but not others, right? So that uh, perhaps if somebody's reading an, uh, an, uh, a review, my review, uh, they might see my username, right? And if I cl if they click on my username, they might see my public version of my of my profile. Yes. Um, uh, what else? Uh, the uh, the application should should allow some kind of searching, right? Some uh, some uh, uh, interaction with some data set, okay? Uh, whether I'm searching for uh, for sports uh, for uh, for for uh, teams team sports, 
if I'm searching for restaurants, for I'm searching for movies, that's up to you. Okay, you're you're free to choose the domain, right? Uh, so again, you're free to choose the domain, right? And from that, I'm, uh, I I uh, I I use a term later on as domain objects. Okay, and what I mean is that uh, if uh, if your domain is uh, golf uh, or or movies or restaurants or recipes, uh, your domain objects will be movies, golf balls. Uh, whatever, right? For depending on your domain, your domain objects will be different. Yes, uh, but there will be some generic uh, requirements for your domain objects. Right? There's some, some. There's going to be some, uh, some um, requirements. All right. Uh, so there should be some search page. Uh, either it could be it could be at the beginning. It could be uh, uh, in the home page, right? Or could, there could be a dedicated uh, search page. Yes. Uh, and uh, the search page you can you can type, and as you type. Uh, it could be just a single input field, or it could be multiple input fields. Uh, there could be some drop downs. There could be some way that I can generate some query, right? Some predicate uh, to which a, uh, a data set can be uh, filtered. Yes. Uh, the um, uh, this will go out to some remote uh, service, and the service will come back with some results, maybe some array of objects, right, that meet your criteria. Uh, so there will be some details. Right, somewhere where you list details, right? Uh, that uh, um, I'm sorry, there, there'll be some result set, so, some res, uh, search results, right? Uh, so it'll be kind of a summary of those results. Uh, that if uh, if I click on one of them, it go, it navigates to a details page, and that details page, you know, if if it were a movie uh, in the in the search results, I might only have maybe the title, uh, maybe maybe how many reviews it got, and that's it, right? Some summary, but if I click on, on a particular movie, it goes into a details page uh, that might show maybe a lot of poster uh, images, you know, the director, some plot, you know, who the who the actors are, uh, some uh, some synopsis, uh, maybe also at the bottom in the details page there might be some reviews of folks that might have uh, uh, reviewed this movie, All right? So that that's in the details page. All right, so there needs to be some details page. Okay. Um, Login and register, so you should support login in and, and registering uh, into the system. Um, and um, uh, one of the log, uh, and there should be some social networking type of login, right? So that I should be able to log in with Google or Facebook or Twitter, um, uh, at least any one of those three. Right? Because I don't, uh, uh, you know, don't, uh, well, I got. Um, uh, you know, don't don't use some really weird, uh, uh, obscure uh, service, right? That uh, the TAs and myself might not have an account on. Uh, so, so definitely Google, Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, right? So, so the big four, any one of those, right? So that's one of the requirements. All right. So styling uh, it needs to be responsive, meaning the the TAs. The first thing they're going to do uh, when they look at your uh, your project. They're going to start you know, resizing the 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 the, the, uh, the window, right? And it has to be uh, useful at any at any width of the page, right? So make sure that, that you take a look at you know whether things are, are wrapping correctly, right? That you don't have things you know, you know occluding other things. Uh, that uh, that if things are wrapping is because you meant them to wrap, right? Because you 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 wanted it to wrap, not because you oops I didn't mean that to wrap like that. Okay, make sure that. Things fit, you know. If it does, if they don't fit, that they gracefully, uh, you know, either hide or disappear or or they turn vertical. Okay. Um, also, make use of uh, a good use of white space, right? That uh, uh, that there's padding all around. That things are fl uh, are not necessarily flush against their parent container, right? That there's uh, at least you know five, ten, fifteen pixels uh, between the container and the content. Uh, that that things uh, are are nicely uh, aligned, right? They're, they're they're flush with one another, right? That uh, you know you don't have these weird um, uh, justifications, right? Uh, also, that things are justified correctly, right? If it's a if it's text is justified to the left, if it's, if it's a number is justified to the right, right? That that things that are centered make sense to be centered, right? Don't don't you know, don't make everything centered. Um, um, uh, let's see. Uh, and you, it needs to be professional. It needs to be look polished. Uh, you look at it and say, "Oh, wow, this this is polished, right?" That uh, 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 also uh, that you follow you follow some some uh, 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 model view controller 
uh, design pattern, right? That, so there should be, you know, the, regardless of whether you use uh, end up using React or you end up using um, uh, uh, Angular, uh, you, you need to follow some best practices, all right? And we'll be talking about those in class, right? So, so uh, you know, the, the, there'll, there'll be uh, some components that deal with uh, talking to the server. There's some components that handle user interaction, right? Some components that model data, right? So, so uh, you should follow those best practices that we're going to be talking about in class. Uh, all, all content needs to be dynamic, right? So certainly a use of single page application, either React uh, or Angular, no, not jQuery. Uh, well, you could have maybe small portions of jQuery, perhaps, right? But, uh, but you know, the, the big portion of it should be either React or, or Angular. Uh, um, let's see. Search requirements. We talked about it. Uh, user management. So there should be uh, there should be some user management, which we already got started on the on the assignments, right? So you almost could use that verbatim for your project, right? Uh, so there should be some admin uh, that logs in and is able to administer users, right? Remove users, ban them from the site, or whatever, right? Um, uh, and uh, uh, so, um, right, users yeah, log in. Um, most of the applications should be available without having to log in, right? Users, uh, so only ask me to log in when absolutely necessary. So, yeah, support anonymous users. A profile, we talked about it. Dis display all personal information, all, all data that is related to, to me. Uh, user roles. Uh, so, you need to support at least two types of human users. Human users. Okay, uh, so so there might be um, uh, I'm sorry, paid on paid. Uh, paid, paid, on paid. Uh, well, well, no, in, in like in different roles, right? So that uh, I might be a buyer and that you might be a seller, right? I I I, uh, I might be a manager and you might be an employee. Uh, I might be a faculty or a student, right? So uh, so where each each user because of their role they have a very distinct user interface, right, that is distinct from somebody else who logs in. And we're doing that in the, in, for our, our assignment, right? We're doing one for the faculty and one for the student. So same thing, for your project, choose any two users, okay, uh, and declare, uh, uh, create an implementation of a user, uh, for, uh, and a user admin, for, uh, a user interface for each type of role, okay? Uh, so, so here's an example, a seller and a buyer, uh, if it's an pro online project manager, there might be developers, quality assurance, project managers, business analysts, right? Each one is a distinct uh, role in the application. They have distinct user, user interfaces. Some user interfaces might overlap. That's fine, right? But, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of it should not overlap, okay? Uh, so, so, you know, a small portion can overlap, but, but most of it should be different. Uh, so a restaurant might have cooks, waiters, delivery, receptions, whatnot. Sports might be a player, a coach, a director, a spectator. Um, uh, and uh, you know, once once I log in into that particular role, I see my user interface. I would typically I would not uh, see the other person's user interface, right? The other. Uh, uh, so if I log in as a student, I should not have access to the faculty user interface, right? Uh, but maybe the vice versa might be okay, that the faculty can see what the student sees. That, may, that might make sense. Okay. Um, admin role requirements. Oh, and uh, admin user doesn't count against these roles. Right? An admin user is an additional uh, use case. Right? Uh, so so one, one of these two types of human users is not the ad anonymous user. Right? Uh, anonymous user has its own, their own a, a, a user interface right, that, that is available to them, but not you know. Certainly, they won't have access to the profile. Certainly, they won't have, have access to any any private content. Obviously, uh, and the admin role. If I log in as an admin, uh, obviously, I, I should be able to manage all the users. Yes, like we've been doing for the assignment. But I should also uh, be able to uh, do CRUD operations: create, read, update, delete on the domain objects on the domain objects, right? So if these are movies, or articles, or reviews, or blog posts, those are all domain objects, yes? It's a recipe. Uh, the, the, the admin uh, should have the capability of, 
of removing them, right? Uh, maybe not creating them, right? Some, so th that might, might not make sense, right? So the, some domain object might not make sense for this uh, user admin to be able to create a new recipe. Maybe not. That makes, m m might not make sense, right? But I should be able to, to take down that, uh, that content or flag it as inappropriate uh, and, uh, and the admin take some action uh, over that content, yes? Uh, now, some, some of the, uh, those domain objects might be too granular, Right, that uh, might make no sense for the for the for the uh, admin to be able to have to maintain those. Right, um, you know, if you if you if you have a a page that contains many, uh, you know, uh, maybe a course that contains many modules, that contains many uh, lessons, that contains many topics, that contains many widgets, maybe make make no sense for the system admin to have to manage every single widget. That that's way too granular for for a system admin to. Manipulate, but be able to maybe take down a course or clone a course or copy a course. That might make sense, right? That that uh, so you know choose one or two of these domain objects, right? Uh, but the ones that are more granular. That's okay to to leave out, all right? But some domain object uh, needs to be uh, managed by the system administrator. Uh, anonymous user requirements uh, and user roles. We already said um, uh, sellers. So here's an example of some user roles, right? The seller can, uh, can crud, you know, create, remove, read, update, delete products, stores, orders, right? But the buyer can search for products, right? They can add things to a shopping list. They can check out. They can view different orders. So it has complete distinct user interfaces, right? Uh, an online university, a, a faculty can crud courses, sections, assignments. A student can search for courses, enroll in them, right? Register for a section. Uh, all right, depending on the size of your team, depending on the size of your team, these are the requirements if you're a one team, one member team, right? If you join with someone, uh, just to make it more, a little more uh, challenging, if it's one person, then it's just uh, an admin, anonymous, role one, role two, and at least two domain objects, okay? Um, why do I have this? I should remove this. Uh, if you have one additional team member, then you need to have at least three roles. So you know, one more role per additional team member. Yes? And one more domain object. All right? These are all minimum, obviously. These are all minimum. Uh, if you have a three team member, a three team, uh, bleh, three member team, uh, you'll need four additional roles, right, and four domain objects. Uh, web services. You need to identify a web service to use, okay, uh, whether it's Best Buy, uh, Amazon, or Yelp, uh, or, you know, the, the Weather Channel, or you know, whatever, whatever, whatever uh, uh, third-party API you need to identify. Uh, one place that you can peruse through several web services uh, is oh no I forget um, uh, what's it called I forgot do I have it listed here oh I don't have it listed here um, all right I have a I have a link to a repository that that lists all sorts of restful APIs that you can use um, and I'll point it out here. Uh, data requirements. You actually uh, you can use um, actually uh, this is this was for the previous one. Um, you can use either Mon uh, MongoDB or MySQL. Right? I'll update the requirements. You can use so for the for the front end you can use React or Angular. Uh, for the middle tier you can either use uh, Java uh, Spring Boot or uh, uh, Node.js. And, and for the back for the database you can use uh, MySQL or, or some relational database uh, or Mongo. Okay, right. So I've uh, I've, uh, I've uh, widened the uh, the choices there, um, and uh, but wh while trying to keep it sane for the TAs to be able to grade it, uh, to have some some level of uh, of continuity. Um, the database schema you'll you'll need a the, the domain model uh, at least uh, you'll you'll need at least a one one to many relationship. All right. So you need you need at least one of these one to many. Um, uh, well, actually, no. You, actually, no. You need two. Uh, one between a user 
in another user. So user one and, and, and some other user. Uh, you need at least one, one to many. Okay. So this might be a manager uh, that is related to many employees. Okay. Um, uh, and another one to many between a domain object, one domain object, and another domain object. Uh, so this might be a playlist that contains many songs. Right, so this might be a playlist, right, in a song. So one playlist contains many songs, right? Uh, one project uh, contains many tasks, right, one to many, right? Uh, usually, the the, uh, the top level might be some some way of organizing the data, like a, into a project, like grouping many of these into one of those. Well, that's a very common way of, of creating one to many here, right? Uh, so you, you need one for the users and one for the domain objects. Um, okay, they're listed here. User to user relationship. Uh, also, you need a one to many, uh, a, 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 a one to, a, 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 some relationship between a user and a domain object. Okay, so a user can create many playlists. Yes? And a playlist can have many songs. So here's a user to domain object relationship. Yes? Right? You need, you need at least one of these and at least one of those. Um, so one domain to the, oh, you also get domain to domain and user to domain, a user to user. Okay? Yes? Uh, what else? Um, uh, you need at least one many-to-many -many relationship. Uh, so, for instance, a, um, a, uh, here's a movie, and here these are actors. Right? So this is a many-to-many. -many, right? An actor can, can be in many movies, but one movie can have many actors. Right? Uh, so one many-to-many -many between a, a, a user and a domain object, uh, and a many-to-many between a user and another user. Uh, this might be a fan, right? An actor is followed by many fans, but a fan can follow many actors. Right? So many to many between users. <laughs> Again, these are all very generic. Right? Whatever you want to do, whatever domain objects, it's, it's, it's up to you. Uh, so here's some, this is a very generic UML diagram that tries to kind of like capture all these ideas. Right, so this is uh, a, uh, here's a uh, here's a user, right? And the user has a one to many with another user. So this uh, maybe a user follows another user. That's a many to many. Right? One user follows another user. So one user follows many users, but one user might be followed by many other users. Yes. So it's a follow follows. It's a very easy many to many relationship. Um, uh, this one is not required, but it'd be cool. Right? A user has, has, has a self-reference, uh, like, like one employee can be a manager to many other employees, right? So there's a one-to-many relationship between one row and many rows of the same collection or the same table. That, that was not required, but it'd be cool. Um, is a one-to-many between a user and a domain object and a many-to-many -many between a user and a domain object. Right, so for instance, this might be a user, uh, maybe a review of a movie, right? So a user reviews a movie, and a movie might be reviewed by many users, right? Um, inheritance is not required, but it will be really cool. Right? We'll be doing inheritance a little later with two faculty and students, right? They'll be inheriting, inheriting from a, a top-level person. Uh, here's some other examples. Um, Yes, an external API is required. All right. Any questions? All right. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, and share it. Thanks.